what keeps you doing the research is the ones that didn't make it. Because it's not being diagnosed. And people are dying every day because they can't, they're not getting diagnosed. difficult to diagnose and recognize because it presents in a way that a lot of common diseases present. I, I honestly did not care if I lived or died. You know, you never know how strong you are until you're faced with having to be strong. And there's your children, especially your little one-year-old and even my seven-year-old. I mean, and they're like, here's your mama. I mean, they're like, that's, that's not my mama. The thing about having a heart transplant, somebody has to die. As bright as it has ever been right now, uh, 10 years ago, maybe even as recently as five years ago, we didn't really have any particular treatment options. I just knew that I was going to be okay, that I was at the right place, I was with the right people, and I knew that it was going to be okay. Potentially there's other applications for, for um, another diseases that we may be helping. I mean, if you can go through what I went through and come back and, you know, have a life again. Not the same life I had before, and it never will be, but it's a new life. And you just have to take advantage of that and live every day and just enjoy your kids and family. Educating the public, educating the doctors, standing behind the researchers who are out there every day doing everything they can to try to find an antibody, an antigen, an imaging system, whatever.